Hi friends, it's Miss Melissa here from Starstruck Dance Academy and MFIT Gym. We're gonna do some gymnastics, fitness, and yoga fun today. And we're reviewing a lot of things we did last week. We're also gonna do a bunch of new yoga moves and a bunch of new, well, a couple new gymnastic style moves, okay? So we start with the warm up. We do some stretches, we do some review, we add in some new, and that's what we're gonna do, okay? So, what you need is maybe a mat. You see how I have a mat behind me? And you need some room. Now, not all of the things we do, you're gonna be able to do on your own. So you have to make sure you have your parents' permission or that you have, um, or that you know that if it's something that's too hard, you're just gonna take a rest and just watch me and maybe try another time, okay? All right, <clears throat> first thing we're gonna do is our warm up. So our feet are a little bit apart, our arms are up wide like this, and we're gonna make an X and an I, and an X and an I, and an X and an I. Now we're gonna see if we can go faster. X and I, and X and I, keep going. Now we're gonna count for one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, freeze. Now when we freeze, we bend the knees and keep our hips back. This is also called a safety landing, okay? Now we're gonna see if we can run in place. Okay, we're just gonna run a little bit. And now we're gonna run a little faster. And now we're gonna run even faster and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and freeze. Remember, we're freezing in that safety landing. Now, who out there knows how to skip? We're gonna see if we can skip in place like this. Hop, hop. It's as if we're skipping, but we're not moving anywhere. We're just hopping, hop. See how I'm lifting just one knee and hopping with the knee that's on the floor? Hop, hop, hop. All right, now freeze. Again, freezing in the safety landing. All right, now we're gonna do a couple of jumps before we get on to our stretches, okay? So bend the knees a little bit. First one we're gonna do is we're gonna glue those feet together like we zip it up. Then we bring the arms up to the ceiling. See my hands? Reach them up to the ceiling. We're gonna see if we can do 10 straight jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, freeze. All right, so far so good. Now, put your knees like this, bend them. Can you touch the floor? Can you reach up high, touch the floor? Reach up high, touch the floor. How fast can you go? Can you go really super fast? And now we freeze, again in that safety landing. All right, now we're gonna start with our stretches. So show me your hands, show me your hands. Now get down on your knees and hide your hands on the floor. Now we're stretching out our wrists. Do you know where your wrists are? We're gonna stretch out our wrists. Flip the hands, yep. Now glue the hands and the wrists. These are your wrists, glue them together. Now go side to side. Sit down on your bottom, clap your hands together, and let's do a roller coaster. Very good. Okay, now from here, we're gonna practice one of our moves we learned last week, which was a cat and a cow. So you wanna keep your hips over your knees, okay? You wanna put your hands over your shoulders. And we're gonna do a cat and a cow. So we go meow and moo. Meow, moo, meow, and moo. Very good, now lift on up. <clears throat> And have a seat, have a seat. Now wiggle out your feet, wiggle those feet. Can you see my feet wiggling? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Now bring your hands all the way up, reach them all the way down, touch your toes. Bring them all the way up and all the way down and touch your toes. We're gonna do this one more time, all the way up. Now this time when we touch our toes, can you count to 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, now grab, this is your claw. Grab your claw, get your fishing pole. This is our fishing pole. Now we're gonna go fishing, okay? So we're gonna throw our fishing pole side to side 
and wiggle that foot when you think you caught something. And now we reel it in, circle that ankle, we're reeling in our fish. Think about what fish you caught. Did you catch a fish? All right, let's throw it back. Get your claw out, get your claw. Grab the claw to the foot. This is your fishing pole. So we're gonna swing it out in the big ocean. And when you think you caught a fish, you wiggle the fish. Keep your tummy tight. Keep it squeezed tight, tight, tight. Wiggle the foot. When you think you caught something, you reel it in. Reel in that fish. <clears throat> reel in that fish. What fish did you catch? I caught a sunfish. What did you catch? All right, throw it in. Wiggle one more time. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Now we're going to open up. This is what we call a straddle position. We're going to open up our legs big and wide. You might feel a little stretch right in here. That's okay. Now put your hands on the floor. Can you lean forward? Can you lean forward while keeping your legs flat? It's so tough. Now can you put your arms on the floor? Now come on up. Can you take your crabby claw and grab the crabby, crabby claw on your foot? Now make a big rainbow with your crabby claw and grab the other foot. Now make a big rainbow and touch and touch. So what am I doing? I'm going side to side. Okay. Now put your arms up in the air and now let it rain. Oh, let's do that again. Make a sun. Now some clouds. Now in the clouds, we see the rain, and let's hear some thunder. Ta-da! All right, now bring the knees in. Hug your legs like this. Make a big, make a big ball with our legs. Can you balance on your bottom? This is called a tuck position when we bring our knees next to our tummy. This is a tuck, okay? Now in this tuck position, we're gonna do something called a rock and roll. So we rock and roll. Can you sit back up? Rock and roll, sit back up. All right, now spin around because now I have some very exciting news. Now we're gonna to start to go over some of the things that we did last week with our yoga fun, okay? The first one we did was a camel. Now this one is really tough. We're gonna put our knees under our hips like this. Then we're gonna take our hips, push our hips forward. See if you can touch. Can you touch your heels? Can you touch your heels? This is our camel pose. Do you feel it in your shoulders? Yes. All right, now come undone. Now sit back down and rest. What was that called again? That was called the camel. All right, now we did the camel, the cat and the cow. And now we're gonna practice our teapot. So let's all stand up. We did a teapot. This is about balancing, okay? So we're gonna make our teapot spout, which is right here. We're gonna make our handle, which is right here. Can you balance like this? All right, now we're gonna pour the tea into the teapot. Oh my goodness, this one is so hard. So just try your best, try your best. Come back down and shake it out. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. We go to the other side. Get your other spout. This is my teapot spout. And now I'm gonna hold my foot and I'm gonna pour the tea, pour the tea down. This is also called a dancer, which is kind of cool. It looks kind of like a dancer, doesn't it? All right, and come back down and shake it out, shake it out. All right, now, do you have water? If you do, I want you to go take a quick sip of water. All right, water is so important. Staying hydrated is so important. You can take some water, quick sip. All right, now, we are gonna try a candlestick. Some of you guys have, know what a candlestick is, and if you don't, I'm gonna teach you what it is right now. Okay, so we're gonna go flat down on our back. Take your hands, touch your hips. Now I'm gonna throw my feet up to the ceiling and put my hands right behind my hips like this. Okay, this is a candlestick. You see how my feet are towards the ceiling? Can you point your toes? Now flex, point, flex, 
point flex, and come on down, rock and roll. Remember that rock and roll we did in the tuck position? Rock and roll. All right, we're gonna try that one more time. Here we go. Go flat on your back, bring your hands by your hips, lift up your legs. Now we're gonna throw our feet up to the ceiling. See where my hands are? They're protecting my back, they're helping to lift me up. We point and flex, point and flex, and rock and roll, rock and roll. Now, who thinks they're ready for something a little more difficult? This one is called a rock and roll pop. If you're a little older, this one will be perfect for you. If you're really young, this one's gonna be hard, so we try our best, okay. We're gonna do a rock and roll, throw our hands forward, and then reach for the ceiling, okay? Here we go. Who can do it without putting their hands on the floor? We're gonna just try to reach up to the ceiling. Here we go. Rock and roll, pop! Whew, that was tough, right? Let's try it again. Rock and roll, pop! Now, did you see how I didn't put my hands on the floor? Watch again. We're gonna do one more. Rock and roll, watch my hands, watch my hands. Did you see they did not go on the floor at all? That's very important to make sure that you don't put your hands on the floor. All right, now the next one we're gonna do is a donkey kick. This is review, okay? We're gonna put your hands down. We're in a tuck position here. Our feet are right underneath our hips. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift my feet up while I'm balancing on my hands real quick and we're gonna make a donkey sound like this. Hee haw, hee haw. You want to try? Come on down. We'll try. Hee haw. Isn't that funny? Hee haw. Hee haw. All right. You want to try it? Come on over. Let's try it. Okay. So I have a little helper. Here we go. Put your hands flat on the mat. Put your hands down. You guys keep trying it. Now put your feet right here. Put your feet here. Now ready? We're gonna go. Hee haw. Ready? Hee haw! One more time. Hee haw! <laughs> All right. Now we're going to see if we can do a candlestick, rock and roll pop, into a donkey kick. Say hi, Henrik. Hi. All right. You're going to try it or no? All right. Move over. Watch mommy do it once, and then you can try it with me, okay? Back up just a little bit. So I'm going to do a candlestick rock and roll into a donkey kick. This one's even hard for Miss Melissa. Okay, ready? Wish me luck, Henrik. Say good luck, Mom. Good luck, Mom. Ha ha ha. Okay, here we go. Candlestick, remember what we do? We lie flat, we lift our feet up. Lift your feet up. Now, we roll forward into our rock and roll. Put our hands down and go, hee -haw. Can you believe that? You wanna try it? All right, let's try it. We're gonna lie flat on the floor. You try it a couple times on your own. Other direction, other, you gotta lie flat on your back. Like this, flat on your back. Flat on your back. Okay, now, put your hands down, like this. Now we're gonna lift up the hips, squeeze the legs. Oh, he's being silly. But this is also another move, this is called the plow. <laughs> now we lean forward, give me your hands. Give me your hands. Now jump up to the ceiling. Now put your hands down. Let's do our donkey kick. Yeah. Put your hands down. And now watch. Donkey kick. Hee haw! <laughs> All right, move over there, bud. Okay, so that kind of gets us ready for our handstands. That's part of our review, too. We're going to do some handstands. Okay, so now you can do it with me if you want. Okay, so we're going to do a lunge. You guys remember the lunge? We're going to do a lunge. We're going to put our hands up above and we're gonna place our hands on the floor at the same time we lift the leg up, okay? Then when we put our leg down, boom, our hands come up, right? Let's try it again. Put your hands down, lift your leg up. This is called a seesaw. Bam, then we're finished. Now we're gonna do switch lunge. Put your hands up again. Now do you, anybody out there feel a little stretch right here? It gives a little stretch right there to our muscle. It's really good. All right, we're gonna do it with the other leg. Put your hands down, lift your leg up, and finish. Ta-da! We're gonna do it again. Hands go down, lift your leg up. Good job, Henrik. And finish. Ta-da! All right, now we're gonna get it even harder. 
We're gonna see if we can do a seesaw hop. <laughs> you gonna try it too? Okay, here we go. Do a lunge, a stretch. Now watch what happens to this leg. When I do a seesaw hop, this leg is gonna hop off the floor. So watch, can you see it? Seesaw hop. Whoa, did you see my leg come off the ground? Henrik, you gonna try that? <laughs> All right, so if you're spotting at home, this is how we do it. So put your arms up like this, okay? Let me see a lunge. Put your one foot in front, yes. So the hands are gonna go down. Stick your hips up, one foot down. Well, <laughs> obviously he doesn't do a lot of gymnastics, so. And he's just barely four. But if you wanted to spot, you would hold the cup of their shoulder and maybe their hip or both hips at the same time, okay? All right, now we gotta keep, keep on the lesson plan here. All right, we're gonna do two new yoga moves that are also gymnastics moves, okay? They are called downward dog and an airplane. Okay, very different moves, but that's okay. It's very similar to what we just did in the seesaw. All right, you can help me, but go on this side. All right, so my feet are shoulder width apart, my hands are up. Now I put my hands down like this, and then I see if I can straighten my legs a little bit. So this is our downward dog. This is really important because it starts to introduce a lot of shoulder muscles, and it stretches the hamstrings out, okay? So you can wiggle your feet a little bit, but this is our downward dog. Now, what we're gonna do is go to all fours. Remember the cat and the cow? Cat and cow. And now, relax. Put those legs straight, go down. Can you do a seal stretch? Or in yoga, we call this an upward facing dog. Do you wanna try it? Okay, try it. Try what mommy's doing. Yeah, we put our hips down on the floor. All the way down. Put your hips on the floor. Yes, good job. See, everyone can try it. Now go back to all fours. Now put your toes in the floor, lift up for your downward dog again. Yay, and you can even reach underneath. Can you reach underneath? <laughs> Hello. <Yeah>. Hello. <laughs> all right, now on all fours. Now we're gonna lift up. We're gonna do a low lunge. Can you try this? Try it. Low lunge. Now straighten the front leg, put both hands on the side, bring your chest down to your leg. This stretches even deeper in the hamstring. Yep, keep trying. Now come on up. Now this time we're gonna ride a motorcycle. You wanna ride a motorcycle? Yeah. Okay. okay, so watch what I'm doing. I'm sitting on the floor like this. Try it. Okay, this is the front of my motorcycle. Here are my handlebars. Now my handlebars are gonna go a little lower. Okay, now I'm gonna start my engine. You gonna start your engine? Now we're gonna do a wheelie. Woo! Do your wheelie. <laughs> All right, now. We're gonna come on up and we're gonna do an airplane. Okay, now, when we do an airplane, it looks very different. Sweetheart, can you move over there? When we do an airplane, which I might even show you that today too, because it's something super fun you can do with the kids. If he cooperates, we'll see. But an airplane in yoga would look like this. As we lift one leg to balance, our arms are in front or to the side. This is what an airplane is. Can you try this? Henrik, can you try this? Let's see if you can balance. Put your hands up to the side, or you can hold on to the table if you need a little help. Do you need a little help to balance? He's like a big huge All right, come on down. Now, who thinks they can do the other side? Put your arms out to the side or to the front and lift the leg up in an opposite side airplane. Can you try that? Henrik, you wanna try? You can hold on to this for balance. You wanna try it? Yeah. Thank you. All right, come on down. All right, you're gonna have to go upstairs. Why? Okay, because you have to either participate or go upstairs. All right, now, I even have some new, more new tricks. I'm gonna do more nests. Well, do you wanna do an airplane with me real quick? Yeah. Okay, so this is something, this is like a partner trick that we would do with kids. I normally do this without shoes on, but um, I hope you can see what I'm doing here. Excuse me. All right, so when we do an airplane as a partner trick, we, one person lies flat on the floor. Come here, come here. We put our feet on their belly, hold the hands, and lift up. Now, almost everybody's done this before, right? 
There goes, there's a lot more tricks we can do with this, but I don't recommend this for everybody. Now give me your feet. So this again is something to, <laughs> we've done this a million times. And then you put your foot behind their bottom and bring them down, okay? I really should, let's do it one more time. If this is something you wanna do at home, come let's try one more time. So again, I usually do this without shoes, but we lift up, grab the feet, grab a underneath, so if he's sitting on my feet, then I put my foot behind the bottom and slowly lower down. All right, jump down now, can you go upstairs? Okay. Or sit over there, please. Okay, so now, going on to the rest of what we're doing. We are gonna do, um, I'm introducing two new tricks, a half turn and a hitch kick, okay? Excuse me. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is a half turn. If I start facing you and do a half turn, my back should finish towards you, okay? So it looks like this. Squeezing my body tight and then half turn. Half turn so we bend our knees and jump. All right, who can try that at home? Can you try that at home? Lift up, half turn, half turn. So that's just called a jump half turn. All right, the hitch kick. This one's a lot more challenging. All right, so if you can do a skip in place, you're probably going to have no problem with the hitch kick. If that's really hard, then just keep trying and practicing it. So the first thing we're going to do is just kick our legs up. Just kick the legs up like this. Now, keep a slight bend in the knee, keep your tummy nice and tight. See if you can hop to the other side. Can you hop to the other side? If you can do that, then you're ready for the hitch kick. What we do in a hitch kick is put our arms out to the side, keep a super tight belly. We kick with one leg and hop to the other like this. Hitch, kick. Okay, I'm gonna show you again. Hitch, kick. Okay, so again, we start with kicks. If we got that, then we start hopping from one foot to the other, and then we're ready for the next level, which is hitch, kick, okay? That's a great skill to have for different harder tricks down the road. All right, now, we have one more balance pose we're gonna do, and it's called a tree pose. Henrik, you could try this one. Yeah. So we're gonna make a little tree with our body like this. Okay, now we can place our hands folded or together like this against our chest. Can you try that, Henrik? Yes, this one's tough, but it's also fun because if we're able to balance, then, it's, then our challenge has been met, right? Okay, bring it down, wiggle, 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 wiggle. And now bring the other foot up, excuse me, and bring it in. Just. Keep it up, keep it going, keep it going. Who can balance? Who's still balancing in their tree? Are you almost there? Hold it, all right, and wiggle, 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 wiggle. Okay, we are almost finished. We have one more thing to do. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna do three different bridges. Okay, we're gonna do a yoga bridge, we're gonna do a table bridge, and we're gonna do a real bridge, all right? Here we go, first one is a yoga bridge. So we're gonna go flat on our back, and we're gonna lift our hips up in a yoga bridge, okay? You could try that on the mat. Let me try. We just lift up those hips and hold it there. Hands go flat though. Can you lift up your bottom? Yay, you're doing it! Good job! Okay, come down and grab your knees. Now remember what this was called? This was called the rock and roll, okay? Now the next thing we're gonna do is a table bridge. So here's your trick. What's your favorite food? Is it cotton candy? Is it pizza? Yeah. What's your favorite food? A pizza. Pizza. So you're gonna pretend to put a piece of pizza right on your tummy. And you're gonna make a table. Make a table for that piece of pizza or whatever your favorite food is. Now look at what mommy's doing. See my hands? Look at my hands. Can you come up like this? We're gonna start again. Okay, try this. Start here. Yes! And now we lift our tush up. Good job, this is a table. Now who can take, who can take their pizza and eat it? Yes, that's given us nice good muscle strength. Okay, now the last thing we're gonna do is a real bridge, all right? The last thing we're gonna do is a real bridge. This one, if you are not that flexible or if you're under four years old, I don't recommend doing the real bridge just because of the spine, okay? It doesn't mean you can't, it just means I don't recommend it if you're under four, okay?
So here we go. We are going to take our pizza pie hands, pizza pies, okay? We're gonna place them on the floor. I'm gonna put my feet on the floor. I'm gonna try to get my belly button to the ceiling and push my head off the ground. Look, Henrik, I'm doing a bridge. Who can do it? I can do it. Yeah. All right. So that is your bridge. Now that one you wanna practice a few times in order to perfect it, okay? All right, so we have a lot of new things coming this week. We always will do review. Thank you. Say goodbye, Henrik. Goodbye. Have a good day, everybody. Have a good day, everyone. <laughs>